Hey everybody, welcome back to FM Jeeping. My name is Mark, and today we are going to be switching out my old winch cable for some synthetic line and a Haas Fairlead. So today we're gonna to be switching out my old cable for synthetic line. This is 3 8 um, synthetic line. I think it's um, Dima, if I'm not mistaken. I'll try to link wh where I got this from. I got a pretty good deal on it. It says the working pr uh, the working load is 26,000 pounds, which is well over what my winch is rated for. I believe my winch is rated for 9,000 pounds. So we should be good to go. Now, what I'm gonna do is literally just pull all this cable off. Now, I believe I have well over 100 feet of actual winch cable. I'm gonna try to weigh it later just to see what the weight savings is. I'm speculating at least maybe 30 pounds. So, I'm gonna hold on to the cable, obviously. The cable's still in okay shape. Um, I'm not gonna just trash it. So, in case I ever do break my my synthetic line, I have something to fall back on. But I don't even know how old this cable is because I bought the winch used. So, one thing you want to do, use gloves because this cable might have splinters. Oop, there's one right there. Right there. Hold on, where is it? That's grass stuck in there, but this could be splintering. So yeah, be careful. Let's get the rest of this taken off. All right, so now I got my drum com completely stripped. I'm gonna take this bolt out. This looks like a hex head. So let's try that now. All right, looks like 5.30 seconds. Got on the first try too, which is rather quite remarkable. And it was loose, so, oh! <laughs> Tensile strength. Now, the other beauty part about um, going to synthetic is you don't need a roller. You can use rollers, especially if they're brand new. And I believe they even have urethane style ones, which won't harm um, the Dima or the um, synthetic line. But they do suggest you use kind of like a Haas Fairlead setup. This is a generic Haas Fairlead that I got off Amazon. So I'm gonna throw that in here. I wanna say this way is almost nothing because it's um, aluminum. This is going to weigh something because it's all steel. The winch looks really weird without any cable on it. Sucks. What sucks? What sucks? So my new Fairlead comes with this really cool hardware, low profile um, Allen bolt. My old roller has a bolt. Now I messed up and put the bolt through the backside and all the way out, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get this. So I could do one of two things take the winch off, which I'm not really a huge fan of, or I could just zip this off and punch them out. And that's what I'm gonna do. I weighed the new stuff, we have a total of six pounds. The old stuff was 33 pounds um, for a total of a 27 pound difference. Now that isn't game changing, 
but what I'm looking for to gain out of going to the synthetic is a much lower profile Haas Fairlead. Um, the little bit of the weight savings and the safety. The, the big thing with cable, obviously it whips when it breaks. The synthetic just drops. Now, there is a caveat to synthetic. There is more maintenance involved. You gotta clean these things every so often, keep it out of sunlight as, as much as you can. I keep my winch under cover uh, pretty much most of the time. Even when I'm wheeling, the only time I ever really pull the cover is if I get into a hairy situation. So that's, that's kind of it. Now that I got everything weighed, let's go ahead and put the uh, stuff back on. What are we doing? Changing the yes line. The winch line? Yeah. All right. And it's me again, and I have sunglasses. That's because it's you again, you have sunglasses. Yeah. All right. Final bolt that all went all the way through, locks it up pretty nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the winch remote, fire the Jeep up, and um, slowly but surely start uh, sucking this in. Now, we're not done after we do this. There is a part where you do have to pre-tension the rope and we'll cover that shortly. So now that the install is done, um, we do need to go find a hill uh, that has a tree on the top and pre-tension this. Now you don't have to go crazy, but what I'm gonna do is I've, I've located a hill at a school nearby, so I'm not gonna in inconvenience anybody. I'm gonna basically um, spool this out all the way, except for to the red, the red shielding that you saw earlier. I'm gonna keep that on the drum, and then I'm going to put the, truck and or the jeep in neutral and use the winch to climb up this hill reason being you're supposed to pre-tension this to kind of break it in to stretch it and get it where it needs to be um, and uh, I mean I can't explain the scientific reason behind it but that's what uh, the manufacturer suggest so that being said this is a pretty easy install I was able to squeeze it in between uh, my wife going to Target and getting back so not a bad install the pre-stretching, however, that's going to get done uh, a little later on today. Okay, so we are at a school that has something of an incline as well as a place to anchor to. So we're going to give this a shot. We're going to try to pre-tension the, the rope. Now you don't need a whole hell of a lot, you just need some. So what we're going to do is set up my tree saver and my soft shackle and uh, hopefully uh, pre-tension the sucker. Just enough there. Okay. Good. Let's go get the rope. All right, I got it in the free spool. Start walking.
All right, I misjudged. Now, I'm gonna show you why I stopped. I stopped, I was probably about 20 feet short. Let me show you why. So the one thing I really like about these ropes is that they give you a warning. Now, even with cable, and especially with rope, you need five rings or five loops around. This gives you a, a red skirt that goes around. So literally, you really don't wanna go any further out than this. So what I'm gonna to need to do is pull up a bunch of rope and drive forward. All right, so I was able to finally get it. I got a little slack left. So I'm just gonna back up so it's just a little taut and then we get to do the pre-spooling process, or the spooling process. And now really what you want to do is just lock it in and guide the rope. Now, you might need to move the steering wheel, you know, little by little. You, this is gonna take a little bit of time, but it's not too, too bad. And what you do is you basically steer the Jeep in the direction so you wind the rope nice and tight and wind it in a nice kind of coiled fashion. All right, so we're gonna refilm this. The last time I filmed it, my camera died and my backup camera didn't, uh, didn't record. So we're gonna try this again. So what I've done now, I got the Jeep in neutral. I'm on a hill. I'm hooked up to that tree over there. I got the winch fully engaged. Once again, the Jeep is in neutral. I've got it spooled out all the way to the, my five safety rings, five safety rungs. Really, all I'm gonna do now is I want the Jeep, to, the winch to coil the rope. And if it starts to overlap or gap too far, I'll back it up and reposition the Jeep. I'm gonna get the rope till there's about 10 feet and then I'm just gonna hand wind everything in. For the equipment you, you need to have or should have to do the pretensioning, you definitely want to get yourself a tree saver. I got mine from uh, Gear America. Um, I've been really, really happy with it. Um, their stuff is really good. I can't say enough good things about it. I also prefer uh, for uh, when I'm winching and doing other things, soft shackles. Now this has a working strength or breaking strength of 30,000 pounds. I got this from uh, Tactical Recovery Equipment, um, another good company that I've had good luck with. I also have their uh, Kinetic Recovery Rope, which has been uh, a nice addition as well. And then you can always can use the default D shackle. Um, I use these on my bumper and then I use these um, soft shackles on the, the tree saver and things like that. So keep in mind of uh, some of those things you, you need when you have a winch and or recovery equipment. Good things to have, not necessarily things you need day one, but definitely things to keep, keep in mind and consider. You can also get some cool novelty D-rings that look like this. Moose Knuckle from uh, Forward Notion sent me that, so big thank you out to Forward Notion for those. Uh, it's pretty fun. I could say I got blue balls, you know. Fun stuff. So if you've liked what you've seen or found it useful, have any uh, questions, comments, criticisms, go ahead, leave those in the uh, comment section down below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.